you know, there's definitely a lot of contention there, but there, there were sort of those social media battles, but in the published literature. Yeah. You know, you go back to the 1950s, there's tons of papers out there saying that there's this whole idea of the cholesterol model of heart disease is just complete bullshit. Mm. And here's all, and it's just based on really flimsy evidence and weak epidemiology and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of back and forth mm. in there. So it was definitely still there. Now, I don't know why this guy was out against um, Warburg himself, but, um, you know, it could have just been a difference of opinion, but... It's funny because, you know, people still cite that 1975 paper as saying, no, the War Warburg was wrong. It's not the mitochondria. Look at this. Look at this study back in 1975. Well, it was like, yeah, but it was wrong. Yeah. You know, we have electron microscopes since then. We can actually see that they, they absolutely are damaged. Mm. And, um, and, and also, Professor Seafried had just really just closed the case on this because he did something called the nuclear transfer study set of experiments where he took the DNA, like the nucleus, which is all that contains the DNA, from cancer cells that have all those genetic changes, right? So all the mutations and everything like that. Took that out, put that into a normal cell with normal mitochondria. Did not behave as cancer. Right. Could actually clone it and you know clone it into like wow. mice and frogs, right? Right. Then you took the damaged mitochondria from a cancer cell, put that into a normal cell with normal DNA. It did behave as cancer. Right. It couldn't clone it. It just died, right? Right. Then just to put the nail in the coffin, they took healthy mitochondria and put those into cancer cells, suppress the cancer. Okay. And so, and that was what, what Warburg showed back in his time, was that if you have healthy mitochondria, you cannot get cancer. That's what he said. That was the idea. And we, don't, we, we certainly know of cancers that don't have genetic changes, and, and the other cancers that have different genetic changes in the different cells, mm. and maybe no genetic changes in large body of the cells, but they all behave in the same way. But they all, all cancers that we know of has have damaged mitochondria. And mitochondria is damaged mostly by what? A lot of things. So all the normal carcinogens that we have, you know, they say, well, this causes genetic change or this, that, and the other. They, they can damage the, the mitochondria as well. And mitochondria have DNA as well mm. um, because they used to be, little bacteria that we sort of formed a symbiotic relationship and they started pumping out energy for us. And, yeah. we, and our nuclei actually store a lot of the mitochondrial DNA. Mm. It actually came from originally from the mitochondria, like all our hormones, testosterone, things like that are actually coded for in the mitochondria. And so a lot of things can damage it. So, you know, the normal things like radiation, smoking, alcohol, different sort of drugs and chemicals, different uh, you know, genetic changes, yeah. you know, like, like Ty Sachs disease and things like that, you know, predispose you to get cancer, but they, they damage the mitochondria. They interrupt the mitochondria and, um, uh, and these plant toxins. So when I was speaking to Professor Thomas Seafried, I was talking to him about my experience when I, you know, the reason I stopped eating plants was because I took cancer biology and my cancer biology professor just said, yeah, these, these plants have tons and tons and tons of, of plant toxins that are carcinogenic. And I was talking to Seafried about this in our interview, and he and he said, "Yeah, all those plant toxins they all damage the mitochondria directly, mm. right?" And so that's the thing you're, you're you're building up damage to the mitochondria, like like we were talking about with cyanide. Cyanide directly damages the mitochondria and stops that electron transport chain, and so it stops your mitochondria from being able to generate um, energy, and it kills you, right? It just stops your mitochondria from generating energy. All your cell tissues die. 